Hello and welcome, my name is Xander. I will be your instructor through this tutorial. Now this tutorial is actually part of a whole course which you can access the first stages for free here on YouTube. Now in this tutorial, I might mention resources and other tutorials. Do check out the link in the video description which will take you to the playlist and also there will be a link to the resources so that you can access and follow along here on YouTube. Now, if you like this course, you found it useful and you want to take that next step, you can find this course over at Udemy. All the links to the resources can be found in the video description. Now, don't forget also subscribe to the channel for weekly promotions, discounts and free course giveaways. When we work with tables where we have foreign keys, we need to remember the rules of relationships. Focusing here specifically on one to many relationships and we have a category and product table and a users and orders table which have a one to many relationship. The products in this case is the many side of the relationship. So we have the category ID foreign key. Remember in this case, we need to make sure whenever we are inserting into the product table, the table that has the foreign key, which creates the relationship between the two tables, in this case, product and category, we need to remember that there must be an associated category so that we can actually insert into the products table. So in our case, we're going to need to create a category first, and then we can associate and build a product to connect that product to the category. We have previously spoken about this in other tutorials, but now we can actually see it in action. So first of all, let's log into the, the database. Oh, actually, we've done that already. And let's select all from category. So I have already loaded up the category table with some data. And I will actually, at some point, remember to use a semicolon, even though I've written that statement thousands of times before. Let's uh, have a look at this data. So we can see that we have what six rows here in the category table. If you don't have any data do log in, go over to where we inserted data and use some of those commands there to insert. Probably the best to use the bulk insert if you haven't already done so. Right, so we have some data. It doesn't matter what data we have. What's important here is we now understand that each record has an ID associated to it. And that's the unique record. Oh, so that's a unique field in each row, in each record that we can use to identify each of these records. So let's take a look at inserting into a table that has a foreign key. In this case, it's the products table. So I've loaded this up. We have previously learned how to insert. So I've loaded this up this time for the products table. So we just need to remember or we need to identify the fields that we want to insert into. So I've loaded that up and that correlates to our design. And then I've added some data. And here you can see that I've specified the foreign key, which you remember should be a value of a primary key in one of the product rows. So this value should match one of the IDs associated to a category. And you can see that isn't the case in this case of this statement. So let's give this a go. And this should then cause an error. So we have an error here because it violates the foreign key constraint because we haven't supplied a, a value which represents a record in one of the category in the category table. So we need to supply an ID that correlates with one of the records. So in this case, it starts from 11 to 16. So if we make changes to the insert, we can then match it with a category, in this case, the electronics category. And then we go ahead and try and insert once again. And this time we were able to insert. Now, although we are discussing one to many relationships between tables, that principle will be the same for other tables where there are foreign keys that rely on data from related tables or where there are relationships between tables. So you can have a go at try and inserting some data into orders and users, explore those two tables, which also have a foreign key, but that really is the basic principles here. Now, eventually we will need to work with multiple tables where there are relationships and we will learn how to do that later on when we discuss joins. 
So when inserting data into a table that has a foreign key, you need to ensure that the foreign key constraints are respected. The foreign key is a column or set of columns, remember, that can establish a relationship between two tables, enforcing referential integrity. So I apologize if I have been reiterating points. Grasping foreign keys is an essential component of learning relational databases and working, interacting with the database.